Hey curly tees, I know this looks like a regular cream, but it's not. Today we're making a creamy non-petroleum grease that helps lock in moisture and feels substantial on the hair. Amla is said to help strengthen the hair and improve shine over time. Black cumin seed oil is said to have antibacterial properties and it is thought to help promote hair growth over time. Castor oil is a viscous emollient used to help lock in moisture. Try not to substitute anything else for castor oil. You want some of the substantive properties castor oil provides. I'm adding ingredients which will cut down just a bit on the tacky afterfeel of castor oil, but castor oil is the best oil to use for this formula. Shaolian is made from shea butter, but it's not shea oil. Unlike shea oil, however, shaolian remains liquid even at lower temperatures. C1315 alkane is optional, but it helps cut down on the tackiness of the castor oil. It also is said to help reduce frizz and allows for easier combing. Natracil is a more natural alternative to dimethicone. It's said to help improve shine and manageability of the hair. For this formula, I want a combination of esters and emollients, which fight some of the tackiness of castor oil without totally cutting off its occlusive properties. I want this to spread well, but still be substantive, if you know what I mean. Okay, 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 hear me out, hear me out. YouTube, stay tripping. This channel is not monetized, thus and therefore, members at curlytea.com have access to the full videos, instructions, ingredient list, and my notes. So come join us today. <laughs>
As you can see, after a month, the water and oil emulsion hasn't separated. It became more translucent as well. It has a creamy, light, grease-like texture and can be useful in sealing and moisture. Now this creamy grease helps my high porosity hair a lot. As with any substantive product though, try not to be too heavy-handed. It's best applied on damp to wet hair right after your leave-in conditioner. Thanks for watching the video. As always, don't forget to visit curlytea.com for all of the DIY recipes, including the full ingredients list, instructions, my notes, and other information. Follow on social media or become a patron at Patreon if that's more convenient for you. I'll talk to you guys soon.